I am thankful to God that I'm able to say, okay, I'm leaving the hospital. The coronavirus did not take me away. Most people recover from coronavirus within about 10 to 14 days. But some people, especially those with a more severe illness, can take longer than that. The virus doesn't present in the same way in every single person. I'm a COVID survivor. I was admitted to Mount Sinai Hospital on the 5th of April. Some hospitalized patients who develop a really severe form of pneumonia or develop something called ARDS, acute respiratory distress syndrome, can develop long-term lung scarring. And if any parts of the lung become stiff, it makes it harder to exchange oxygen. If somebody goes into shock, they can very well see damage to their liver, their brain, their kidneys, any part of their body. There's also reports of patients having clotting issues. People are presenting with strokes. Patients hospitalized who are on dialysis are throwing clots into the filters of the machine. Cardiologists are also reporting that coronavirus may directly affect the heart as well. It's not just a respiratory illness. Patients are getting arrhythmias or showing evidence of structural changes or problems to the heart on echocardiograms. I'm in the intensive care unit. I can't breathe without this. One thing that we can expect is a second wave of mental health issues. People intubated or in the ICU for a long period of time are at an increased risk of anxiety, depression, and PTSD. All these patients are going to need a little bit extra support. There's a lot we have to look out for when it comes to the social impacts during the recovery from COVID-19. People have been out of work for a long amount of time. Some people don't have health insurance. Some people can't get to follow-up care. I spent almost a little more than 72 hours on the ventilators. I'm now ready to go home to reach my wife and my two kids. If there's any silver lining we can talk about during this pandemic, it's the incredible human spirit. People are really coming together in an unprecedented way. <laughs> this pandemic will end and we'll get through it. And then it's gonna be up to all of us to prepare for the next one, which is inevitably gonna happen. At the end of the day, we need to remind ourselves that we're all in this together.